after a year and a half of college, I returned to the hospital with only one goal. To kill cancer. Oh, shoot. I got some great freaking news today, guys. Great news. Great news. What a day. So, today, it's it, right now it's about 11 o'clock. And at 10 o'clock is when I got the phone call. So I'm sitting there. I just came from the kitchen. I got a warm. I got a donut. I'm eating it. I'm playing Fortnite. I'm getting ready to just jump in. The, the bus is going. I'm about ready to jump in the freaking Tilted Towers and wreck some face. And next thing I know, my phone is buzzing on my lap here, and it says Morgantown, West Virginia. And I recognize the number. It's the clinic number that I have to go to all the time. And I chuck my headset off, I toss my freaking controller on the ground, it's probably broken, it doesn't matter because this news is freaking worth it. I get on the phone, and my doctor talks to me, he says, Jordan, are you there? And I said, yeah, I'm here. And he said, listen, we got some good news for you, buddy, really good news. And I said, alright, give it to me. And he says, Jordan, it's, it's, it's gotten smaller. And I said, how small? And he says, it's a pixel on the screen. And I said, I, 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 I wasn't saying anything because I didn't know how to react. And he just stops and says, Jordan, listen, we're going to, Dr. Paul is off at a, a conference or something. And I said, okay, that's fine. And he said, when he gets back, me and Dr. Tenenholtz and Dr. Paul are going to get together and we're going to decide what we're going to do next. And I just said, this is exciting, man. And, and he's like, yeah, it is. Me and another doctor looked at it and we're like, that's a big difference. Like, I don't know what the heck uh, we're going to do about it. And he says, well, uh, I said, well, what are you going to do about it? And he says, I think uh, what, what I think we should do is keep treating you with chemo. And that's that was really uh, gr great news to me because I did not want to go through radiation treatment. Gordy, your, what your doctor said, what does it mean? What the doctor said means that I gotta take chemo again, but that's not a big deal because I've handled these last two rounds of chemo really well. I mean, diarrhea. Not wanting to do anything. Watch Netflix, bro. Go take a poop. It's it's fine. I'm so freaking excited! Ugh, like a freaking kid on Christmas! Okay, I only got one more thing to say before I go and scream some more down the hallways, okay? Have you guys seen this? Look at it! I'm listening so bad because I'm yelling asses! Look at it! But seriously, y'all, this, this picture right here, I'll, I don't know how I'm gonna get this to y'all. It's on my Facebook, it's it's on her Facebook group. But Micaiah Riley, she's been in the hospital, I think today is day 25, am I right? Day 25? But she's doing so much better. She's been in the hospital, like I said, like I think 25 days now. I think today's day 25. But she had surgery to get a hemangioblastoma out. One of many in her body that are in there. But there's the doctors talked to her and said, there's not a lot of concern to do treatment right now. So let's get you better right now from where you are sitting there, not being able to do anything. So... It's great to see that she's going to be next Tuesday or Monday or whatever. She's going to go off to Columbia, Columbus. Oh God, I can't speak. To Columbus to do rehab on her trach. I believe that's what they're doing. Speech rehab. I'm not sure. I don't know. All right. Last thing, I want to thank all you guys for all your support and please like, share the freaking video. Because everybody's got to know that Jordy's doing okay for some reason. I'll talk to you guys next time.